Lake Michigan has fallen by over a foot in the last year. The change is very noticeable to some of us who spend time down by the lakefront. It seems like it's kind of coming down, but I know last year was a lot more like right there on the pass when you're like walking and stuff. I spent a good amount of time by the lake. I haven't really noticed a change. Um, I'm usually just kind of cautious by the lake in general. The recent dry weather has kept the lake from rising this spring. Normally from you know, March to April, we would have expected to see a rise in the lake level and we, we did not this year, so it, it stayed flat. Though the lake is significantly lower, it's still much higher than what is typical for this time of year, so the threat of flooding remains high. The risk of shoreline flooding and erosion, you know, those coastal processes that are happening all the time are still elevated because of the high water levels. You know, it's just they're not as high as they were last year. So strong northeast winds will still pose a major flood and erosion threat to many areas along the lakefront. The reason the lake has fallen so much is that precipitation has been well below normal across the entire Great Lakes region. While we actually saw above normal snowfall this winter, most locations near the Great Lakes saw very low snowfall totals. Our total precipitation since the start of the year is only 5.51 inches, which is less than half of normal. Though the lake level will increase as it usually does as we head into summer, this year's rise is expected to be much less than normal. For the month of April, we were 22 inches above long-term average um, on Lake Michigan Huron. And for the month of May, we expect to be 19 inches and really 17 to 19 inches above average for the rest of the summer. Phil Schwartz, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.